Welcome back, you botters. Often when making scripts, you're going to need to have them make basic decisions based on certain page elements or other factors, like whether or not a login worked correctly or whether a variable is what you're expecting it to be. If you've used a software product that just seems to break whenever it encountered something it didn't expect, that's because the programmer didn't ask, what if? In this tutorial, we're going to make a script with some very basic logic. Knowing and preparing for the different results you can get while, for example, creating an account or searching for keywords on a page can be the difference between a bot that runs on autopilot and a bot that stops after a few minutes. It's simple enough to do with our if and else if commands, and it will be one of the foundational concepts you will use to make complex bots with uBot Studio. So let's see how it works. Let's go to ubotstudio.com slash playground slash captcha form dot aspx and this brings us to our simple captcha form and here's what we're going to do we're going to make a scenario in which we want to see whether or not we correctly guessed the captcha so what we'll do we'll go into our flow commands and we'll drag if and now we want to look inside our qualifier functions. All of these qualifier functions are made to be used with the if command so that it can decide on different possibilities based on your current situation. Let's use search page for instance. Drag this over, what are we searching for? Let's look for the term incorrect. This would be assuming that we typed our CAPTCHA incorrectly and the form is letting us know that. And we'll click OK. If the term incorrect comes up, what do we want to do? If we type our CAPTCHA incorrectly, why don't we have it navigate to the UBOT Playground page at ubotstudio.com slash playground. Now we also have the else command. That means if the thing we asked for didn't happen, what do we want it to do? Let's say that we want it to navigate to bing.com. So we now have our basic logic in our if command. So let's enter a captcha. Let's enter it wrong and see what happens. We'll submit it, and then we'll run our script to make the if command work. And as you can see, the search term incorrect did appear on the page, and so it navigated to the playground page. Now let's click back to our CAPTCHA form, and this time let's enter it correctly. You see it says correct at the top, and when we run this, it didn't find the term incorrect, and therefore it navigated us to Bing. Maybe there's another possibility though. Maybe you want to check for the term incorrect, but you also want to check for the term correct. Here's how you can do that. We're going to drag else if underneath the then command. And in here we're going to put search page and we'll put the term correct. So what this means is that if we don't find the term incorrect, but we do find the term correct, then it's going to do whatever is in this else if command. And what do we want it to do? We'll say we want it to navigate to yahoo.com. So let's see what happens. If we type something incorrectly, the term incorrect will appear. We'll run this. It's going to navigate to our playground. If we type it correctly, Now, because we have this else if command, it's going to look for the term correct, 
because it didn't find incorrect, and then it's going to navigate to Yahoo. And it correctly navigated to Yahoo. Now on the other hand, if neither of them appear and we hit run, then it just navigates to Bing. Now there's one last thing I want to show you here, and that is that you don't have to use these qualifiers in order to make things work. So for instance, if we edit our if command and we get rid of our search page and instead we just want to say we want to check whether 3 is indeed less than 4. So if 3 is less than 4, then navigate to Playground, otherwise navigate to Bing. And if we run this, 3 is in fact less than 4, therefore it navigated to Playground. However, if we change this and we say 3 is greater than 4, Then we run it and it will go to being because 3 is not actually greater than 4. Now another possibility is that you can use variables in here. And we haven't gotten to variables. We'll get to those in a few tutorials. But for now it's enough to just understand that if you had a variable, you can say things like variable equals 3 or variable is greater than 4. And you can use this expression just like you would any other expression. And that concludes our tutorial on basic logic. I hope you get an idea of how you can now start making more complex and varying bots. Thank you for listening and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.